Spain is a country with everything needed for success in world football. A large population that follows the game with intense passion. Major clubs rich in history and tradition. Look down the Spanish team lineup and you won't find many who've made headlines in the transfer market or starred for clubs abroad. Instead, the best from abroad tend to come to Spain, especially the coaches imported to add a little international know-how. And at its very best, the game in Spain stands comparison with anything in the world. Great club sides and great players, but why have Spain only once progressed beyond the World Cup quarter-finals and that 48 years ago? This is the man with the job of changing that record. Since 1992, the Spanish side has been coached by Javier Clemente, a stoic Basque from Bilbao in the north. He's often at odds with the ferocious Spanish media, but Clemente is not swayed by public opinion in his team or his methods. Spain threw a tricky looking group. The Czech Republic Euro 96 finalists fell apart early on. Yugoslavia, reinstated in the international game, posed the biggest threat. Spain tamed them in Valencia, beating them 2-0. Miroslav Djukic fouled Alfonso Perez for a 19th minute penalty. Barcelona's defender Josep Guardiola converted from the spot. Spain wrapped it up a few minutes later. Guardiola's magnificent pass to Raul, the young Real Madrid star, scored with ease. From then on, qualification was easy. Yugoslavia's best chance to challenge Spain was in the return game in Belgrade. But when Kiko was fouled by Mihailovic, the Spanish had the chance to grab the lead. Fernando Hierro obliged from the penalty spot after 18 minutes. But Yugoslavia earned themselves a point with another penalty. Juan Lopez penalised for pushing in the box. Predrag Mijatovic composed himself to beat Andonis Dubizareta. Throughout the qualifying round, Spain's superb away form held good. Their last trip was to Slovakia. Kiko, unmarked, producing a fine angled header to put them in front. And Guillermo Amor, prodding home to ensure that Spain would be crossing the Pyrenees into France this summer. Spain earned 26 points out of 30 to keep Yugoslavia and the Czech Republic at bay, an admirable record. Clemente reaches the world. Fernando Nadal. Six league championship medals in Spain. He has all the attributes. Excellent hands, judgment, presence and authority. Fernando Hierro is a player any coach would love to have on their team. He's played in every nine years at the Bernabeu. A free-kick specialist. He heads the ball with courage and efficiency. And he's penalty taker for club and country. A completely dependable modern player. And his expectations for France are high. He's one of the most highly prized defenders in world football. He can mark aggressively. He loves to challenge in the air, and he can sweep elegantly, also stepping out with the ball to good effect. Clemente has tried to make Spain more physical, but he knows that is likely to mean suspensions during the championship. And that makes men like Luis Enrique more valuable. He's in the form of his life for Barcelona. Basically a wide man, but he has an eye for goal as well. Give him space, and he can make defenders and opposing goalkeepers look rather foolish. He also has the ability to produce a telling pass, and he will surely be a hard man for Clemente to leave out. Among the younger element, Raúl. He's already featured for Spain in World Youth Finals in 1995, the Atlanta Olympics and the European Under-21 Championship Final. But now he's desperate to prove himself at the top level. Above all, Spain needs front men with a goal-scoring record. And at Real Madrid, he's proved himself a first-class finisher. 
Alfonso will also be looking for a striker's role. Wherever he has played, he's produced goals, and he's now been in the international reckoning for over five years. But only recently has he started to consolidate his place in the national side. A hat. But one thing's always been missing, a major trophy, and that's what's needed now if the smiles are to last.